Hey, it's Chris Anders here at Canadian Mosaic English Language School. And today we're going to finish off our series in how to write a proper essay structure. In the first video, we talked about how to do an introduction paragraph. And so just to recap that, an introduction paragraph has three parts. The first part is the background information or the context. And this is what your teacher or this is what your IELTS textbook says that you should paraphrase in the question. We call this the background information. Then secondly, in the introduction paragraph, you should write your thesis. And your thesis has two parts. The thesis contains the topic and what you will say about the topic, which is called the controlling idea. And so, for example, if the topic is colors, the controlling idea is the history of colors or the physics of colors or the cultural significance of colors or my favorite colors. Um, in an essay like IELTS, where it's asking you your opinion, your opinion is the controlling idea. It's the topic and what's your opinion about the topic. And so these two things together make up a complete thesis statement. So your thesis becomes in this essay, I'm going to tell you why I think what, what, what about this topic. Why I agree or why I disagree with the topic of this or with people who say that. And so again, your opinion must be in the introduction paragraph. It's part of your thesis. And then part three in the, the introduction paragraph is the preview statement. To simply list the topics of each body paragraph. First, we're going to talk about the side of the argument that says this. Secondly, we're going to talk about the side of the argument that says that. And finally, I'm going to give you all of the reasons why I agree with this side or that side or why I think this or that both sides should be used together. But the important thing to pay attention to is first, background information. Second, a thesis with the topic and control idea. And third, the preview statement, the list of what's going to be in each body paragraph. And this brings us to conclusions. Your conclusion paragraph is a mirror image of the introduction paragraph. It's a reflection. And so in the introduction, we had our background information, the context. And point number one in the conclusion, after your nice transition signal in conclusion or to sum up, we restate the background information that we used in the introduction paragraph. One sentence. Then we restate the thesis. And here, use some nice complex grammar to give you a nice boost with your grammar score and use the past tense. This essay has been talking about why I agree or disagree with what, 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 what. And the summary. First, we discussed this in body paragraph one, and then we discussed that in body paragraph two. And finally, in body paragraph three, I told you the reasons why I believe what, 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 what. And then closing idea. So in closing, in the future, people should do what, 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 or we should all pay attention to this or that. Some idea that wraps up your essay. And so that is a conclusion paragraph. It has three parts. Again, it has background information, it has your thesis, it has your summary, and then finally the fourth part, it has a closing idea to end your essay. And so if you can write an essay like this, this means that you get a band nine, or sorry, if you can write a conclusion paragraph that has these four parts, it means you have the potential to score a band nine in task response and 
a band nine in cohesion and coherence as well, if you can connect everything with your proper connective words and reference it properly. And so, this ends the discussion on proper paragraph structure. In the first essay, we talked about introduction paragraphs. In the second video in the series, we talked about how to do proper body paragraphs. And finally, today, we've discussed how to do conclusions. So, now with this knowledge, you should be able to take these three different paragraphs and using your Cambridge IELTS practice test books, practice writing every paragraph in the book, every essay in the book. And if you can do it in the ways that I've described in this video, you have the possibility of scoring a band 9 for your task response and your task achievement scores. And you have the ability to score a band 9 for your cohesion and coherence scores as well, for your task 1 and task 2 essays. It's all about having a perfect plan. After you have the perfect plan, everything else becomes easier. If my plan is nice and complex, I'm able to use nice complex grammar. If I've got lots of ideas to talk about, it means that I can show my big range of vocabulary as well. And so, it's the backbone to everything, this essay structure. And so, use it to your advantage. Practice training. And send me some of your tests to score for you. I'll gladly help you out and give you some progress reports. And so, until next time, happy training!